In the course of a lifetime, you may be fortunate enough to be inspired by someone who is truly making a difference. Someone whose only goal in life is to help others. Someone who works selflessly, tirelessly, and against all odds to make the world a better place. Such a person is Abbot Niktari Haji Petropoulos. Even though he prefers to stay out of the spotlight, it's time to shine a light on this remarkable man, with the purpose of making his plight known and providing him with financial help. Although not Russian himself, Father Niktari, along with two other monks, opened a Russian Orthodox monastery in Mexico City in 2007. Most of his parishioners are from a Slavic background. Many of them only speak Russian and, as a result, often feel lost and isolated. Women get married with Mexican, they get involved with Mexican family, they lose their roots, they are not able to worship in an Orthodox Church, and then their children are baptized Catholics or anything else, or not even baptized, so they lose themselves. And at the end, they lose their identity, they lose their faith, they lose their traditions, their spiritual traditions. Father Niktari has determined that it is his sacred duty to protect and help the Russian community throughout Mexico. His name has become well known in Mexico due to his selfless service and dedication. When they were founded here, I think that this was the most important moment в жизни Мексики для русских, которые здесь живут долгое, долгое время. For many, the Holy Trinity Monastery in Mexico City has become a haven of safety and security, a place where parishioners can go for comfort, support, and practical help. This church brings them together as a family, and at the same time, we are the point where people come for help. Uh, and they know they're not alone because we give them help. We help them in many different ways. Many of Father Niktari's parishioners describe him as being like family. He is a man of, of God. He's a man of wisdom and he, he uh, attracts the community and, and uh, people respond to him marvelously. But the monastery is facing serious financial difficulties. The diocese is extremely poor. Father Niktari and the other monks work outside the monastery to make extra money to help it survive. Father Niktari is working 14 hours a day in different jobs just to pay the rent. The owners of the building often raise the rent illegally by a hundred or even two hundred percent. Honestly, I feel that uh, I cannot continue anymore with this task. It's very, very heavy for me. We, we became monks because we wanted to wait on the Lord, to serve the Lord and the church and the people. But instead of that, we're selling cakes I'm working elsewhere. Because of his extreme poor health with painful kidney stones, diverticulitis and other ailments, Father Niktari is also faced with the high cost of monthly medical bills. And yet, when a parishioner needs financial aid or help paying costly legal fees, he or she will never be turned away. Father Niktari is desperate to continue his work. He is in dire need of proper medical care and rest, and by all accounts, hasn't taken a single day off in many years. And I love them. They are my children. Um, they need me, but they see me as their father. Yeah, but as a father, I'm the one also who pays the bills. It is not that I'm not willing to do it, but it, it goes beyond my control. I can't make this much money to pay the expenses from uh, the monastery and from the parish and from the mission work in other cities. How can, am I going to tell them, listen, um, I lost my job in university and now I won't be able to pay the rent anymore, so you will not have a house tomorrow. How can I tell them that? For those of us who live lives of relative comfort and security, it's hard to imagine such suffering and such dedication. 
this man is literally laying down his life for his community. In his own words, I will fight for my parishioners no matter what. $70,000 should pay rent for the next two years. With rent taken care of, Father Nyktari will be able to cut down on his outside jobs and spend more time with his parishioners. We have the power to change it all. Along with our utmost respect and admiration, let's step up to give this man the financial support he needs. And a final plea from Father Nyktari himself. Thanks to you, we have helped many, many Orthodox people. And uh, our hope is that you keep supporting us. Our hope is that God moves your hearts and other hearts in order to support the work of God. We are not asking for ourselves. We could easily support ourselves. But at this very moment, we can't support all these people by ourselves. We need your help.